Hey everybody, welcome back in the Cheapo Spotlight. Today we have a super popular meter on Amazon, the Tech City MSR A600. Here we go. Now when I say popular, I'm not kidding. There's literally thousands of reviews on these E-Tech City multimeters. So you know what? I got to thinking all these people saying how good it is. Well, is it really that good? Or is it just that herd mentality? Well, you know what? We're gonna put it to the test today and find out. E-Tech City MSR A600 ships in a pretty plain Jane vanilla box, but nonetheless, it's a box that's sturdy and that's all you need. Also ships with your standard E-Tech City digital multimeter manual and uh, pretty well done actually, pretty verbose, has a lot of different pictures, schematics, gives you the lowdown on what your new multimeter is all about. Also ships with your CAT2 600 volt or CAT1 1000 volt test leads. Uh, so pretty truthful in terms of a CAT rating. Now these leads do look awfully familiar. What do you think? Looks a lot like Unity test leads. Uh, yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. Overall though, the leads are nice and I gotta say much better than your average fare. Now this series looks a whole lot like the UT33 series from Unity. Um, and you know what? I don't think it is an accident. In fact, the UT33A Plus is identical in basically every single way. Um, I don't have the 33A Plus with me today. I do instead have a similar, the 33D Plus. And you can even tell in the back, look at that. I mean, even the tilt stand, everything is basically one and the same. So uh, yeah, has a very nice blue finish to it. Um, a little bit brighter than let's say the old wave tech style, but uh, nonetheless appealing. Nice soft rubberized boot, uh, a little on the plasticky side perhaps, but nonetheless much better than not having any boot at all. Is completely removable as I'll show you in just a second. We have our inserts here for the test leads if you wanna take them with you or you know what, just wrap them around the meter and have a place to store them. Body of the meter itself is a nice beige kind of, well you know it's not beige, this is more like a off white, maybe a winter white, I don't know. Winter Wonderland white. I don't know, it's it's white. And um, I like it, I like it a lot. Dental battery housings on the back, it takes two AAA batteries. Uh, yeah, overall nice quality, uh, decent looking corpus. Um, it works. To get to that battery housing, you can tell, yeah, unfortunately it is going right into the plastic. So mm, brass insert, that would have been nice to see. Um, two AAA batteries here, that's what powers the unit. Rotary selector switch as well, nice tactile feel. Has a beep in between ranges, but overall nice clickety click, clackety clack, and it has a good recess here, so it gives you a really good uh, control when you're turning that dial, I like it. Tilt stand also okay. Um, for some reason it just doesn't seem to have a really nice stability to it not sure why maybe it's just the way those legs are uh positioned but it's it's yeah it's okay you know that being said it doesn't do the floppity flop which is always preferred thank you for not flopping okay let's turn it on shall we and yeah pretty decent looking screen i'll, I'll do it again i'll pull out the unity just for comparison purposes but uh yeah, pretty well identical in terms of font, everything else. Uh, nice display. Do have a backlight as well. Doesn't stay on permanently, but at least we have a backlight. Um, yeah, no bleeding. Overall, uh, pretty, pretty nice looking. In fact, let's turn off the lights here in Georgia and let's just see how it looks in the darkness. Oh yes. So you can see, yeah, very nice, very clear. Um, good looking backlight. You're a good looking backlight. Looking at the rotary selector switch starting at the nine o'clock or off position. Volts AC up to 600 volts. Volts DC up to 600 volts. Millivolts AC DC. Resistance up to 200 mega ohm. Continuity. Diode. Capacitance with rel. Microamps AC DC. Milliamps up to 200 milliamps. Finally high current amps up to 10 amps. ACDC. On the left, we have our select slash rail button. On the right, of course, our hold and backlight. 
Finally, at the bottom of the meter, we have our high current input on the left, up to 10 amps. In the middle, we have our common or ground. And on the far right, we have our diode, capacitance, continuity, voltage resistance, milliamps, and microamps. On the back of the meter, it says it conforms to those EN61010-2-030. Ah, that's a mouthful. Standard, but unfortunately, um, okay. Saying it conforms and actually being tested to conform are two different things. We just have the standard CE uh, authentication label. So really, uh, it hasn't been tested. So yeah, take that with a huge grain of salt just because something says it can conform to a standard. But if it hasn't been tested, that's pretty well meaningless. One thing I don't like, and it's just, ah, I don't know why they keep doing it. Um, let's face it, this should be red, pure and simple, as same as the high current input. Not white, white doesn't mean anything, and the comm should be black. You know, this is like 101. Ah, makes me so frustrated. Starting off with the DC accuracy test, here we go. Should be looking around 2.5 volts and 2.51. Not bad, not bad at all. Next up, we want to look at 5, 5.0004 to be exact, 5.02, hey, works for me. Okay, next up, 7.5 volts. Survey says 7.5, oh, 7.53, want to see 7.50, once again, awfully close, looking good. Finally, 10 volts. 10.00, 10.04, hey, accuracy wise, it's looking good. Next up, we are in low volts, millivolts to be exact, and we're sitting at 10 millivolts right now, and oh, it's a no go, it's a no show. And that's because, according to the manual, we're looking at 200 millivolts as the minimum threshold, so uh, too bad. And for low current, yes, 20 milliamps, we are good to go. According to the manual, 20 milliamps is what it is capable of. And yeah, that's what we, 18 milliamps, still looking good. Let's bring it right down, take it to down to 10 milliamps. Hey, looking beauty. 10 milliamps coming up is 9.8, awesome. Okay, right now we are in microamps, let's take a little bit lower. 0.90 showing up as 871, 800, 770, 400, 300, 200. Now we're starting to lose some of that accuracy big time, 164. Take it down to 100 amps, coming up as about 64.7. Here we go, quick voltage showdown. Sitting at one volt right now, according to the power supply. Up, up and away, oh yeah. 3.82 volts according to the power supply, 3.83 for the Habitats, 3.84, and 3.8 for the Unity. Okay, well, you know what? Let's just make that a little bit more on the fair side. There we go, 3.83 in sync with Mr. Habitest. Okay, here we go, on our way. Now we're sitting at 7.10 volts, 7.13, 7.15 for the E-Tech City, and 7.14. 24.5 volts and we are over limit on the non-auto ranging meters so we just got to take them up a notch there we go 24.6 all across the board good stuff already up up and away we're going to take a little bit higher today folks 31 volts 31.3 according to the power supply and look at this we are in total agreement okay we're gonna max things out right now we're gonna max it out at 64.2 volts and wow that is a thing of beauty Jeez, louise i'm telling you you guys are so in sync beauty well guess what they're all winners in the voltage department Quick look at resistance now, sitting at one mega ohm even. One mega ohm even, Steven. Let's go up to eight mega ohms, six mega ohms, five, four, three, two, one mega ohm. Yeah, so nice and fast to range. Let's try 900K, 500K, 100K. Looking good. Finally do 900 ohm, 500 ohm, 100 ohm. Yeah, 
losing a little bit of that accuracy. We're getting down on the resistance scale, but nonetheless, it's pretty fast to range and overall looks pretty good. Now, one really nice thing about the E-Tech City is the fact it has a pretty high resistance range, 200 mega ohm to be exact. And yeah, that's nothing to sneeze at. You're going to use it every day? Probably not, but always nice to have. Here, let's see. I've got two Vichy resistors here in series. Let's just see if we can hit that 200 mega ohm mark. And there we go, nice and fast. And yeah, look at that beauty. Okay, it's continuity time. You got it. Three, two, one. Hey, not bad, not bad. Fairly loud, latched. And you know what? That's pretty darn quick. I'd say it gets it about eight or nine out of 10. Let's try the Probe Masters. Oh yeah, Probe Masters, here we go. Look at that, even faster, faster, still latched, a little bit louder. Oh yeah, that's a 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Eighty one point four decibels, the output volume in continuity. All right, serious business now. Here we are with our LEDs, lighting meeting dials. Let's see how good the E-Tech City is at lighting them all up. Starting off with the green LED. It is lit and we do have that forward voltage drop over to the yellow. Looking good. Over to the red, yes. Finally, the blue. Oh, no, no, nothing on the blue and the white. No. Nothing on the white. So three out of five in terms of illumination and showing us that forward voltage drop. It's about a C plus. According to Dave, the output voltage is a balmy 2.2 volts. Thank you, EEV blog. Capacitance range right now. And one of the neat features with this meter is the fact that you've got that rel feature in capacitance mode. That means it will get rid of, or try to get rid of that stray capacitance. So what we're gonna do first is just rel it out like that and you can see right now we should have a much more true reading okay we're gonna start low according to the manual we're good for two nanofarad and we're sitting at one nanofarad right now and look at that 0.951 not too shabby not too shabby at all let's try five nanofarad coming up is 4.8 six coming up is 5.7 nine coming up pretty close 8.76 7 microfarad, 4 microfarad, showing up as 3.29. Let's try 1 microfarad, 0.919. Finally, let's take a look at millifarad. Now, this only goes up to 2 millifarad, 2,000 microfarad. So not a very high ceiling in terms of overall capacitance. Um, you know, some people are okay with that, whatever. Uh, I always like to see something a little bit higher than that. At least 10 millifarad in today's day and age, but you know what? It is what it is. Okay, let's see how well it does. 560 microfarad. Will you stay still? Alrighty, here we go. It is thinking, it is thinking, and there we are, 0 0.5 to 1 millifarad. Uh, yeah, pretty darn close. That didn't take long at all either. Good stuff. Trying a 10,000 microfarad, 10 millifarad, just for the kicks, on Route 66, and we are denied. Yeah, OL. Uh, oh well, we tried. We tried, that's all that matters. All right, it is high voltage time. Starting off with the 250 volt Zapparoo. Three, two, one. Next up, 500 volts, here we go. 500 volts, yeah. Finally, 1000 volts, here we go. Three, two, one. And we got that nice over voltage alert. So yeah, looking good. Survived, it survived. All right, teardown time. Here we go. On the left, we have our Unity. And on the right, we have the E-Tech City. And wow, look at that. I'm telling you, this is not even the exact same model, but still you can see a world of similarity here. I mean, wow. Uh, yeah, diode clamp, diode clamp, same style shunt, same angle. Now that polyfuse you see here, this was my doing. It did not ship like that originally. It came with that 200 milliamp fuse, same idea. So just negate this out of the equation. But yeah, generally from a quick perspective, even up to the programmable headers here, placement of the piezo, uh, battery connection. I mean, everything like, whoa, 
this is obviously one and the same. On the reverse side of the EBS plastic, yeah, it is nothing special. No shielding, no, just plain old plastic. But that being said, you know, pretty good quality, feels all right. There's our connectors for the batteries, uh, yeah. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Now, there are the input jacks for those inputs. Uh, not bad, I obviously could have used a little bit more solder because, um, yeah, just a little bit stingy in the solder department. Typical variety, split variety, but no worries because they are being supported by the back of the housing. Only one PTC and it's on the voltage side right over here. And it's once again, we have our diode clamp over here. There's the current shunt. We have a 200 milliamp fuse for the low current. And on the high current side, we have a 10 amp both of these fuses are 600 volt rated, uh, so that's nice to see, uh, definitely keeping up with their spec. Moving up here, we have our standard piezo. These are the battery connectors for the terminals on the opposite side of the uh, unit. At the top here, we have our programmable header for the factory calibration. Uh, main CPU is cobbed, but generally you get the gist of it. On the E-Tech City, unfortunately, no NCV, so no filament. Really nice uh, tracks here for the rotary selector switch. Not tracks, sorry, these are the pads. Um, looking good. This is a non-standard rotary selector. So you see we've got this plastic pivoting pin here. This is what is replacing that typical ball bearing and spring uh, mechanism. You can see how lovely it turns. Oh, just to give you a little idea of how these work as opposed to the spring and ball mechanism, you can see that plastic clasp just hits those grooves when you're turning. And uh, there are some Keysight models that have the same implementation and other vendors as well. Um, it works, it works quite well. And some people say that there is an issue with wear and tear over time. Personally, I haven't seen it. Um, yeah. Finally, let's take a look at those rotary selector tracks. Wow, very cheap in the cheapo department. Wow, wow, wow. So few of them, uh, nicely plated though, but uh, yeah, not, not many. Finally, the main LCD display, nothing special going on here. It's held in by four Phillips screws. Yeah, that's it, that's all. Finally, the soft touch buttons make contact here. And yeah, that's it, that's all. Already gonna put things back together. Come back with my closing thoughts. Closing thoughts on the Tech City MSR A600. Hey, it's a pretty good meter, people. Come on. Yeah, you know, it's got a lot of good things, a lot of good features. It's pretty robust. It's solid. I dropped this little sucker twice uh, during review and it stood that three whatever meter drop. So, uh, yeah, well made in that. Not the most exciting multimeter out there, especially with all those exciting new cheapos on the horizon. But that being said, it does hold true to its multimeter bones and it does what it needs to do. I really wish vendors would stop putting in these generic inputs and just do it properly. Red for the current, red for the voltage, black for the ground. It just makes safety sense. The Tech City MSR A600 gets a solid 3.5 out of five stars. Hey, this meter cost me about $28, $30 US, uh, definitely in the cheapo zone. Hey, what can you expect? You know, it is not bad. A big, big seller on Amazon. So uh, if you're thinking about it, I hope this review helped make up your mind. Hey, this is a really busy week. I'm going to be hosting the Unity AliExpress live stream on AliExpress via the Unity store. Don't miss that. Coming up, up Monday, 9 a.m. is the start time. Runs from 9 to 12. It's going to be a lot of fun. Stay safe, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.